G'day and welcome back to Agriculture Explain. In this video, we'll be looking at the carbon cycle, but more specifically, we'll be looking at the carbon cycle under an agricultural context. So we'll be looking at how the carbon cycle affects our uh, farming operations and what we can do um, about this. So the most important thing about the carbon cycle is that we're just following around carbon. So we start off uh, in the atmosphere. The carbon is in our CO2 or carbon dioxide. Uh, from here, it is drawn up by plants uh, and is converted into uh, glucose, which is a type of sugar, in the process of photosynthesis. So photosynthesis takes up our carbon dioxide with water. Um, it uses sunlight to convert that into glucose uh, and oxygen, which is then released. So now the carbon is in glucose, so sugar, and this uh, sugar is, uh, can now be used um, to be uh, turned into starch, which is storing um, the glucose for uh, later on in storage. It can also be turned into cellulose, which is uh, for structure, uh, or it can be used in respiration. Now, respiration is a metabolic uh, reaction, and so the plant um, or animal can use this to unlock or release the energy in the glucose. Uh, which allows it to do uh, metabolic um, activities, so to grow, to move, um, those kind of things. So the um, chemical formula for respiration is opposite to um, photosynthesis. And so what happens is the uh, glucose um, reacts with oxygen to release energy and then carbon dioxide and water is released. So the carbon dioxide is going to come out of our plants back into the atmosphere uh, and then after that it's going to go back into our plants. So that there in itself is its, uh, its own cycle. Otherwise, uh, animals can eat the plants. Um, so our ruminating animals, they can eat our plants. Um, and then the carbon goes from the glucose in here into our uh, animal. The animal then can use it for um, its own metabolic uh, reaction, so uh, respiration, uh, which means the carbon goes back into the atmosphere, or it can uh, be used uh, for the animal um, in its growth and development. From here, it can be eaten by another animal, uh, which means it would go into another animal and then have the same options, or the animal can die and go into the soil. And so this is decay. Uh, our soil microbes will convert um, our carbon found uh, in our um, animal into uh, more basic units and store it in soil. Now, the same thing happens to plant matter or organic matter. We can just term all this as organic matter and the organic matter will be converted by microbes into um, soil organic carbon, which is then stored in our soil. Another important way that carbon can get from animals into the soil is through manure. So when our uh, ruminating animals uh, eat our plants, not all of it is converted into meat. A lot of it is passed out in uh, manure, and then from there the microbes um, can then get it and then convert it into soil organic matter or soil organic carbon. So this is also a really important point, um, and it helps, it helps us to fertilize our paddocks uh, naturally. So the manure transfers a lot of um, our carbon in our plant matter and uh, puts it into our soil. And then from there we get all our uh, benefits associated with soil organic carbon. So once it's in our soil, um, a, num a number of things can happen. It can either be released as carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere um, by microbes, or it can um, go further down into fossil fuels. Now this is where um, more so um, plant matter is stored under uh, ground for long periods of time, um, condensing all that uh, energy, so in your glucose, uh, into a highly concentrated material pretty much, which we then use um, nowadays as fuel. So as you can see here, we've got our tractor, it's burning our uh, fossil fuels, and then that's gonna release our um, carbon as carbon dioxide. So you can see it's, it, it's all, uh, it goes back to the atmosphere and then drawn up um, by pretty much plants and then from plants you can move around. So this is a basic uh, diagram of the carbon cycle, but for agricultural 
purposes. This is probably all we need to know. The most important part is that plants draw out carbon dioxide and then we can use it. So for our regenerative uh, work, we want to probably store as much carbon in our soil because uh, carbon in our soil as soil organic carbon adds a lot of benefits to our soil. It provides structure, it provides our microbes with food, it increases our cattle exchange capacity, and so because of that, it improves the fertility of our soil. The carbon cycle is fundamental if we want to get into a sequestering carbon, and so that process is moving um, carbon in our plants into our soil and storing it in our soil uh, because of those uh, really good benefits we get from uh, soil organic carbon. Uh, we really want to focus on moving it into our soil or more so the topsoil. Anyway, so that's uh, the main points of the carbon cycle. Uh, the processes important in it are photosynthesis, so converting atmospheric uh, carbon uh, in carbon dioxide into um, glucose unlocking the power in glucose through respiration, either by the plants or the animals, back into um, carbon dioxide. And then we're also gonna get um, energy from that. And then the other process is decay. So taking uh, that um, glucose and organic matter and then storing it in our soil um, and microbes undertake that function. So thank you very much for watching. This is Agriculture Explained. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or feedback, uh, just put them in the comments. Thank you very much.